Dear students, this is an online lecture on computer programming and computational techniques. In module 3, we will discuss about functions, different types of functions, call by value, call by reference, recursion, different types of variables used in a function, etc. We are starting the topic functions in C++. So what is a function first? Function is nothing but a group of statements written under a given name, that is a function name, then that will together perform a task. So every C++ program has at least one function, that is our main function. A function contains mainly three parts, a declaration part, definition part, and function call. A function declaration tells the compiler about the function's name, return type, and parameters. A function definition provides the actual body of the function. There are mainly two types of functions, built-in functions or library functions. Second type is user-defined functions. The first type of function is built-in function. A built-in function is a function which is already defined in the C++ library. We just want to access that function. No need to write function by Ourself. There are many functions already defined in C++ library. We just want to call it for getting the result. This includes functions for file access, functions for mathematical computations, functions for graphical operations, functions for memory management, etc. A library function is accessed simply by writing the function name followed by a list of arguments. And header file of used function should be included with the program. This is an example of built-in function. The built-in function used here is SQRT and the parameter passed into that function is number. This built-in function SQRT is defined in the library CMAT which is included in the beginning of the program. The result of this function will be stored into a variable square root. The second type of function is user-defined function. Why user-defined function? Functions provided by library are not enough for user to perform all the tasks. So to complete their needs, user has to define some functions themselves. These are called as user-defined functions. Except built-in functions, user can also define and write small programs as a function to perform a specific task. These functions should be codified by the user so that such functions can perform the task as desired by the user. When we write a user-defined function, it has mainly three parts. Function declaration, function definition, and function call. This is the way to write a C++ program with a user-defined function. Here you can see that the function declaration part is written before the main function. Example, int add of int comma int. That is the function declaration part. Then inside the main function, you can see that sum equal to add of num1 comma num2. The function add of num1 comma num2 is called as function call. It contains two parameter values, num1 comma num2. They are called as actual parameter values. Then function definition is written after the main function. Here you can see that the format for writing a function definition. Int add of int a comma int b. Here you can see that two parameter values a comma b. A and b are called as formal parameters. So when you are executing a task, the actual value in num1 and num2 will be assigned to formal parameters a and b. Then the task is performed inside the function add, in the function definition part. Then the result will be returned back to the function call in the main function and the result will be assigned to variable sum. Next, we will discuss about how to write a function declaration and what is the significance of function declaration. A function declaration tells the compiler about the function name and how to call the function. 
the actual body of the function can be defined separately that is inside the function definition a function declaration has mainly three parts a return type is there function name is there and the parameter list is there so you can see an example in that example int is the return type of the function and add is the function name and a and b are the parameters next we will see how to write a function definition a function definition actually contains the body of the function that is the set of statements to perform a specific task then how to write a function definition so this is the way to write a function definition a return type is there function name is there parameter list is there inside that one we are writing the code for executing the task the c++ function definition consists of two parts function header and function body a function header consists of a return type function name and parameter list the first part is return type a function may return a value the return type is the data type of the value that the function returns some functions perform desired operations without returning a value in this case the return type is the keyword void function name is the name of the function the function name and the parameter list together constitute the function signature parameters the parameter is like a placeholder when a function is invoked you pass a value to a parameter this value is referred to as actual parameter or actual argument the parameter list refers to the type order and number of the parameter of the function parameters are optional that is a function may contain no parameters function body a function body contains a collection of statements that define what the function does this is an example of function definition for adding two numbers so how to write a function definition for adding two numbers the function name is add and the return type is int and inside the function add we have two parameters a and b they are called as formal parameters then inside that function name we have to define the variable for storing the result that is int add then for performing the task addition we have to add a plus b then store the result in variable add then finally we have to return the result back to the function call in the main function the third part of the user defined function is function call the first two parts we have already seen that is function declaration and function definition to use a function we have to call or invoke that function when a program calls a function program control is transferred to the called function a called function performs defined task and when it returns statement is executed or when its function ending closing brace is reached it returns program control back to the main program example when you call a function r with actual parameter values num1 and num2 the control will pass to the function definition of art function then the task is performed inside the function definition and return the result back to the main program this is an example of how to write a user defined function in this example we will see how to add two integers using functions so to write a user defined function first you have to declare that function for declaring the function you have to write return type first function name then parameter list inside the bracket that you have to write before the main function so here you can see that a function called r with return type integer and the parameter values integers are declared before the main function then inside the main function we will call the function so for that purpose we have to pass actual parameter values so i have to define variables for storing the actual parameter values 
here I declared num1 and num2 for storing the actual parameter values. Then result is stored in some variable. So I have to declare that also in the beginning. Then I will accept two integer values from the user that that is stored in num1 and num2 variable. Then I will call the function add by passing the variable num1 and num2. They are actual parameter values. Then the control will pass to the function definition written after the main function. Inside the function definition of add function, we have two formal parameter values a and b. So the actual parameter values num1 and num2 is assigned to formal parameters a and b. Then the addition of that two values will be done inside the function definition. Then the result is stored in add variable. Then at the end of the function, we will return the result add to the main function. Then that result will be assigned to a variable sum. Then it will be displayed. Next we will see what are the advantages of function. The first advantage is you can divide your program into different logical blocks. It will make your code clear and easy to understand. The second advantage is we can reduce the redundancy and thereby we can reduce the length of the program. That is, use of function avoids typing the same pieces of code multiple times. We can call a function to execute same lines of code multiple times without rewriting it. The third advantage is we can test the program or function easily. The fourth advantage is in case of any modification in the code, you can modify only the function without changing the structure of the program. This is a practice question for you. The question is write a C++ program to find factorial using function with return. The logic for factorial we have already discussed. You can practice this question by using any of the online C++ compiler. To get an online C++ compiler, in Google, you can search C++ online compiler. You will get many online compilers. You can use any of these. Otherwise, you can directly go to the site http colon double slash cpp.sh. In that, you can type your program, then press the run button to get the result. If you have any errors, you can correct it and press the run button again. This is an end of online tutorial on functions. In the next online tutorial, we will continue with call by value and call by reference. Thank you.